This is Lynn from Darwin Orver channel. Today we're gonna build a catapult. This video is sponsored by Real Genius or realgenie.us. For this catapult, I wanted it to be really nice looking with dark wood and I wanted it to be strong. So I decided to go with mahogany for the base and I picked a pretty thick piece because I wanted it to be substantial. For the posts, I used oak. I was concerned about strength, so I was thinking to myself, what's the strongest construction? Well, mortise and tenon joinery, so why not go with that? Actually, as I thought about it some more, based on how I wanted the catapult to look, I couldn't think of any other joinery that would work. I mean, screws would be too big, and unless I made some major design changes, this would really be the best way to go if I wanted it to be small and suitable to use on top of a desk. So I took my time, I cut out all the tenons, uh, and I repeated this multiple times. Now, the tenons are cut at an angle, not unlike the way a timber frame home is constructed. I cut all the tenons out at a quarter inch square with a quarter inch depth. I really liked cutting these tenons on the small posts and I only found that sometimes they were a little tricky to hold right to get the angle of the saw right. I cut mortises on the mahogany base as well as the posts to fit everything together. I marked where the mortises needed to go based on the tenons and I chopped them out again a quarter inch square with a quarter inch depth. After a little thinking about how I could make this even more stable, I decided to add extra support in the front, so I prepared those angle posts too. It was important to mark out correctly where the mortises needed to go on the base and on the posts, or else the angle of the bracket is off, so I had to adjust that a little to get it right. Once all the parts were prepared, it was time to glue everything together. Here it was also a little tricky because I realized I had to basically glue all the parts down at once in order for everything to fit right. Next I prepared the catapult arm, which I cut out of a piece of mahogany. I also made a cup by drilling a hole with a one and a half inch bit and then cutting around it on the bandsaw and finishing it up on the sander. For a little contrast here, I decided to stain the base, um, because this was pretty light mahogany. And then once it was dry, I gave everything a coat of uh, the linseed oil wax polish. And here I assembled the arm with a dowel and just working on putting in spring. Ready, set, fire! 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 This uh, catapult here has gone through a couple of changes since I started with it. First I used a 3 8 inch oak dowel here, but after doing uh, quite a bit of testing that broke on me so I replaced it with a 3 8 inch uh, steel rod instead, which is holding up much better. I also changed this piece, which was mahogany, and it broke on me, and I went for oak instead because that is stronger. Um, overall, I, I've, I've put this thing through quite a bit of abuse, um, but it's still, still holding up pretty good. And of course, you can change the tension here with a rubber band. I've also tried with metal springs. So after breaking this numerous times, uh, I decided it is just better to not go for something that is that strong like a metal spring. The scale of this is much more suitable for a rubber band and you still get quite a lot of pressure here. So that's pretty cool. This video is 
sponsored by Real Genius, which is a great new way to tag videos and find information. Now, this is a Chrome plugin that you install and that enables you to tag specific points in a video. For example, this video is about building a desktop catapult. However, there are more things in this video than what is described in the title. Let's say you'd like to find a tiny mortise and tenon work or siege weapons. I'm gonna go and tag this video at specific points. So if anybody would be looking for something that happens at a specific event in the video, it's really easy to find. Often what's the problem with the video? There's so much that's hidden inside a video that's not always described. It's a brand new site, um, so you can go and check it out, uh, sign up for it and start tagging your videos at specific points. You can take a look at this video as well over at Real Genius or realgenie.us and see how I tagged it. Don't forget to catch me on Darwin Notes, my new vlog channel where I put up uh, behind the scenes stuff, thoughts, and sometimes projects that doesn't make it to the main channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great start on the new year and I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's get this one. Woo! <laughs>